Consider the expression 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3. If we write this out in expanded form as an ex repeated multiplication, we would find that 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 consists of 5 repetitions of multiplying by 2 and three more additional repetitions of multiplying by two, as required. Now, this is a repeated multiplication of the number two eight times. Since there are eight terms, we can write this as two to the power eight. Remember, you simply count up the number of twos, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that becomes the exponent. What about three squared multiplied by three to the power seven? Let's write that as a repeated multiplication. So for the three squared, I have three times three. And then three to the power of seven, I'll have three multiplied by itself a total of seven times. Just bear with me a second while I write this out. Now, if we were to look to write it as a simplified power, we would first write the base. Remember, the base is the number that is repeated. So in this situation, we have eight rep or sorry, nine repetitions of the number three. So three is our base, and nine is the exponent. The rule to sum this up is as follows. When multiplying powers with the same base, we add the exponents. Here you'll notice that a to the power b times a to the power c involves the same base. And we keep that base as our result. Then we simply take the exponents, b and c, and add them together. Let's see what that does in a couple of examples. Three squared multiplied by three to the power 11. The base is three, so I'll write the base out. And then I need to add two plus 11 to account for both of the exponents in the question. That will simplify as 3 to the power 13. If I were to ask you to write that in standard form, you would have to pull out your calculator and multiply 3 13 times or use your 3 x to the y button 13. Next example, if x to the power of 4 multiplied by x multiplied by y. Here we have two different bases. We have one part of the question that has the base x. And we also have another part of the question that has the base y. As a result, our answer will be made up of these two bases x and y. To find the exponents of these two bases, we have to look at the exponents in the question. And since we're multiplying, we need to add them. The exponents of x are 4, and since there's no exponent listed, we assume a 1. So we would have 4 plus 1. And for the y, it will also be 1 because there's no exponent listed. 
we would rewrite this by adding the exponents. So 4 plus 1 is 5. And when we have an exponent of 1, it's generally alright not to write it out. So we don't have to write the exponent of 1, even though it's there. This expression, x to the power 5, y raised to the power 1, is the same as x to the power 5, y, without the exponent. The next example, all has the same base, and there's only one of them. It's 7, so we'll write down that base. Now we have to add 2, 4, and remember the 1 that's there. So we can add all three of those at the same time. So this will simplify into exponential form as 7 to the power 2 plus 4 plus 1, which is 7. Well, that's it for multiplying powers of the same basis. The homework for this section can be found in the digital courseware, and you can access this at home as well as online at the school.